Hi, and thanks for tuning in for another session of the DVE Store Theater. In this one, we're taking a look at the video mic from Rode. I just, I really love this mic. At 149 bucks, there's nothing that can beat it. There's the Sennheiser MKE 300, but it can't hold a candle to what this one is capable of doing. Now, this one has a built-in shock mount. It actually mounts right onto your camera's hot shoe. So you're actually saving quite a bit of money. If I compare this setup here, we have the Audio-Technica AT835B. Now, this is about a $250 mic. We've got a $50 shock mount. This is the MZS Cam from Sennheiser. And then uh, we have the Beach Tech adapter on the bottom. This is the DXA4P. Now, when you're using XLR, you can actually go for longer runs. We could go 20 feet, no problem. We're not going to pick up any hum or buzz. I've actually got this mic on right now, a 20-foot extension cable, and I do hear some hum and buzz. Uh, when you've got it mounted on your camera, you've got about a uh, six inch, maybe 10 at the most coiled cable. And that one's gonna work great. That's what we call a high Z. And high Z is only good for short runs. That's the little mini plug. So this little guy has a 3.5, you know, headphone style mini plug input for these consumer type cameras. If your camera has XLR, this, this mic's not for you. It does indeed blow away even the mic that's on the XL1S, XL2. Now this is a shotgun mic, so it's unidirectional, it's picking up from one direction, whereas the omnidirectional mic that came with the XL2 is, is a very good mic, but it's good for picking up ambient sounds. It's not good for going directional, because this mic actually rejects noises from the sides. It'll pick up a little bit behind itself too, so if you're talking into it, you're going to hear it yourself. It's also a great mic for VO. It's powered by one 9-volt battery, it lasts 100 hours, it's got a little switch on the back to turn it on. Uh, it also will allow you to switch the switch one more tick up and you can have uh, bass roll off turned on. So if you hear some uh, low bass rumble from say a good gust of wind, uh, you can turn on that uh, bass roll off feature and it'll help you out and cut anything below 80 uh, hertz. So it's kind of your choice if you want to go with a mic that you can get about you know 20 feet away from you and get right on top of the talent, then this is the setup to go with. But this is, you know, two, three times more expensive, whereas at 149 bucks, you got a pretty good deal.